602, another marathon meeting in Woonsocket. This one last night, lasting about five hours to decide if the mayor should be ousted from her job after five hours of testimony. Decision tabled until tonight. Yeah, after the meeting was in recess at about midnight, our news crew there spoke with the mayor. And Erica Ritchie has that interview for us live in studio new this morning. Well, guys, the mayor was cool and calm when our crew caught up with her, and that was after five hours of having her leadership called into question publicly last night. The first thing she told us was how appreciative she was of the support that she's been receiving from her constituents. Take a listen. It makes not just me, but it makes the staff recognize that um, they're appreciated and that they feel that a good job is being done. So that makes me feel good because we do have such a great team of employees and it is it's unsettling to them the resolution shall take effect immediately upon patches free animals at 105 cumberland hill road a proposed 20 by 20 feet by 20 feet additional on or before december 27 2021 correct well, Deli Hunt of willfully neglecting her duties and violating provisions in the city's charter. Sierra was then cross-examined last night by the mayor's attorney, and that's where the meeting left off. The council president said he realized the defense was taking more time than expected to make his case, and in the interest of fairness, the council president made the call to continue the hearing to 6 o'clock tonight rather than pull an all-nighter. We want to get the answers. We want the mayor to have a fair trial. We don't, a hearing, I should say. We don't want to see this um, rush to the point where there's, it's done shabbily. But certainly, when we've made the point that uh, an employee wants more staff, um, that's everywhere. And that's been determined, and I think everyone acknowledges that. All right, so coming up starting at 6.30, we'll hear from Denise Sierra as she read her complaint, and we'll take a closer look at why she wants the mayor removed from office. So I'll have that part of the story when I see you back here 30 minutes from now. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. Top story this half hour for five hours. When Socket City Council her testimony last night to help them determine if the mayor should be removed from office. Yeah, we've been telling you about this since the charges were first filed against the mayor last month by a city councilor. And last night for the first time, we get to hear what she's actually accused of. And Erica Ritchie is live in our studio to break it down. Erica. Well, guys, this moment was actually set in motion a year ago in September of 2021 when the city council voted to censure the mayor or formally disapprove of her actions. That was the groundwork laid to potentially remove her from office in the future. Well, that time has come. So last year, Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt was censured on the heels of a pavilion construction project. The council approved that project to be built at the Woonsocket Animal Shelter, but the mayor instead had it built at Rivers Edge Park without council approval. It was the last straw for Councillor Denise Sierra, and she was hopeful that the censure would stop the mayor from acting as a Lone Ranger leader. But last night, she said that hasn't been the case. Despite having received a clear, unambiguous warning via a formal censure issued in September of 2021, pursuant to Resolution 22 R65, Mayor Lisa Bordelli Hunt has continued her pattern of misconduct via willful violations of the Charter and failing to enforce and willfully violating city ordinances in a regular effort to circumvent the City Council, the City Charter, and our city ordinances. So last night, Councillor Sierra read all nine charges in the formal complaint she filed against the mayor last month, calling into question the mayor's decisions on things like health insurance benefits to certain part-time employees, a contract between the city and police union, and a failure to meet deadlines for project funding proposals. Now, last night's hearing lasted five hours. It went until midnight, and that's when the council president called it quits and continued the meeting until 6 o'clock tonight. Regardless of what happens tonight, though, guys, even if the mayor is ousted, she is on the November ballot running unopposed, so it's quite possible that she could resume her seat again in the new year. We'll keep an eye out for you. Live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.